Good morning. This is Larry McMillan with a stock market update on Monday, July 25th. So last week, the market uh, rallied for most of the week, but then ran into trouble on Friday. Uh, it peaked at 40.12, which almost closed the gap at 40.17 on the chart. We had expected some resistance there. Um, <clears throat> but it it's, could still continue on a little ways higher. We, we, we do have some buy signals from various indicators. But the resistance between 40.70 and 41.70 is going to be very strong. Uh, so unless, uh, you know, the index were to climb above 4170, that, that would be a change of uh, trend. But for right now, the trend is down lower uh, highs and lower lows on the S&P. And so the core position still remains bearish uh, from that indicator. However, there's been good improvement in many of the other indicators. The equity only put crawl ratios have fallen below their June early June lows, and that's bullish. So as long as those indicators are still declining, that'll be bullish for the stock market. Breadth has been pretty good, and uh, we had breadth oscillator buy signals. Now, it was not good on Friday, and that has uh, put these buy signals in jeopardy. So if we were to have negative breadth, say, today or maybe even uh, tomorrow, uh, that would probably roll these over to sell signals. That's a day-to-day -day, uh, sort of game-time decision. Uh, new highs are still no nowhere. Uh, it was, I think, 16 on Friday in the New York Stock Exchange. And so as a result, the new highs versus new lows indicator remains bearish. Now, our VIX spike beat buy signal expired last week, so it was a profitable buy signal. Uh, it has begun on June 15th, but that no longer exists. So now we're looking at the trend of VIX, and that's uh, taken a bit of a positive turn for stocks in that VIX is now closed below its 200-day moving average. So that removes that bearish factor from the trend of VIX. It doesn't make it a bullish factor yet, though. Uh, the 20-day moving average would have to cross below the 200-day moving average of, of VIX in order for that to be the case. But in any uh, in any situation, it has uh, reduced the bearishness of the trend of VIX. And as long as VIX remains relatively low like this, then that is a, a, a large positive for stocks. <clears throat> so um, the construct of volatility derivatives, which is basically the uh, term structure of the VIX futures uh, that slopes upwards through November now. August is the front month. And so that's positive, uh, mildly positive anyways for stocks. So we're still looking at a core bearish position because of the SPX chart, but we are trading these other buy signals around it. And uh, these can change quickly, especially things like breadth. But uh, I invite you to visit our website, take a look at our daily newsletters where we do keep you up to date on these things daily. Meanwhile, uh, have a great week trading.